Work together, he says. We can do this if we work together, he says. Meanwhile, his happy ass stays out there while I deal with the bows. Hey, Jill. How you doing? Oh, uh, yeah. Welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. Want to play a game? Um, either way. I... I actually found that I enjoyed this game more than I thought I did. I was just a bit tired at the time. This game's actually kind of fun. It's just really, really different. Where am I? Not sure. That's the part we're trying to figure out. It's still on. Yeah, do you want to play a game? I feel like it's asked you before. Oh, it's filled with dirty water. There might be something in it. Oh, the last time I did something like drain a tub because it could have something in it, there was something in it. It's called a zombie. Oh, haven't you done this before? Nothing. It's rusted. What was the point of that? S screwdriver? That works. We didn't necessarily have to reach into the tub. I thought we were about to have to start stabbing with the screwdriver. It's broken, been broken for a while. What gave that away? All the grime on everything? Or what else? Hey, mother! Oh, you want me to evade? What the fuck am I supposed to do? This is why you look before you start touching stuff. Ow. Panel. A time for that. Well, when is the time for it? Why don't you pull out that fucking screwdriver and we start stabbing it? It's locked. Yeah, that's what I was. Oh, that's why you want me to evade. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna keep him do down for long. So let's just get working on this panel. There we go. Um, it's back. Okay, go. Don't know why the hell you won't stab it with the damn screwdriver. Ammo for the gun we don't have. Lovely. Ah, oh. oh, son of a... Hmm. What is the problem? My weapons. Oh, no kidding. You're telling me. Stop sucking, stop sucking me. Thank you. Kick him in the dick. Okay, get past. Door. Where the hell do you go? You can't fight without a weapon. No shit! <laughs> oh, I actually kinda like this. Reminds me of a. Uh... Reminds me of the dollhouse piece of Resident Evil 8. Dollhouse mansion parts. Reminds me of that. That was a lot of fun, and we had no weapons in as well. It's also kind of confusing then as well, as well. Oh, uh. I knew I had a heal. Oh, fuck. How about we go where he just came from? That feels like a good idea. We're in our bedroom. More ammo and a shotgun. Hell yes. How do I get it? Uh, shotgun that would be useful if there's a place to insert something. Oh, we need... Why is it always a, like, really, really, really big medallion that we need? I. Damn it, they hide! That's a new one! They're more intelligent than zombies, then, because zombies don't normally do that kind of stuff. Ligatongs will, but zombies never have. One on the other side of here. Ooh, he's having a good time. Do we still have the Genesis? No. He's having a real good time about it. Just don't bug him. Let him keep licking the floor like a layman, and we'll move on. I'm assuming the medallion has to be in here somewhere. Go! Ooh, just barely. Are we still on the ship? What the hell is this? 
This is inane. Well. Yeah, there is a door. I was about to say it's relatively corned off, but apparently not. Damn, I thought it was a note. Hey! Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine, but the ship's crawling with BOWs. Okay. We're going to need our weapons. I think I saw them on my way here, but I couldn't reach them. We should be okay as long as we work together. Yeah. He says as he leads me behind. What do you mean you couldn't reach them? If you couldn't reach them... There are more creatures this way. Oh, no kidding. I found this, though. Think we can use it? Decoys, yeah, it just if I can might remember. do the trick. If I remember how... Work together, he says. We can do this if we work together, he says. Meanwhile, his happy ass stays out there while I deal with the bows. There you are. I actually remembered how to use the damn things. Oh, and I should point out, yes, I have realized that I mixed up the BSAA and the BCA something. One's a federal bioweapons unit. The other, I used all of them. One's a federal bioweapon unit. The other was owned by Umbrella. Oh, take that. Found our They're in here. Yep, well, I can see them, but how do you think I'm gonna be any better at getting a hold of them? Yeah. I guess that works. <laughs> that box is curious. Oh, also, they will hide and crawl out of things, so keep an eye out for that. Sweet. Tree stolen equipment. There's an axe in there. We didn't have an axe. There's a knife. Hello, Pokey Poke. What are you? You can equip and switch weapons on this screen. You can also customize weapons if you have custom parts. Uh, press that switch screen to equip custom parts. Oh. Which one? So you can upgrade and swap around your weapons? Yeah, which one? There we go. How'd you kind of like that? Nice. Nice pistol upgrade. What do you got? Yeah, just standard. Whatever. Probably also upgrade the uh, ammo mag then. We got our equipment. Now what? Now we contact HQ and tell them what the hell is going on. Good we'll luck with that. that from the bridge. Let's go. Yeah. Locks. I actually do really like this. This is kind of fun. In its own different way. God damn it. Is that gas dangerous? Let's just assume it is. Things are hiding everywhere. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure this entire ship was a trap. So, yeah, I can expect them to be. I'm almost certain that's the entire point. This place was a trap. As Admiral Aardvark would say, it's a trap. And we fell right into it. Because we decided not to double check that our agents were where they should have been. Which is in the fucking mountains. There we go. Ooh, we're hurting. We're hurting bad. Shotgun can't get it. I'm trying to get back to the... Uh Padlock, though I don't have any ammo, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to break it. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. I am beat to hell. I'm out of ammo. I am not trying that. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll have to come back this way for the shotgun anyway, so... That's a problem. Oh, we're back here. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. We're gonna head towards the bridge then. If we find the thing to get the shotgun, then we'll take it, but it's just not worth it. Not worth the risk. 
I'm not sure it's worth having the extra damage considering the much lower mag. I mean, I understand guns need to be balanced, but... Mm, feels like they hemorrhaged... Like, pinned this gun over a barrel with only four mag. That's... Oh, little extra damage, you know? This is the room I was stuck in. By the way, what's the deal with that guy in the gas mask? What's his game? Don't know. I'm pretty sure he's... Veltro, right? Yeah, one off from Velcro. <laughs> I can't believe my stupid bloody jokes are actually helping me remember. Did you, you didn't have a weird TV, did you? There we go. Ooh, we're in a little bit, but not too bad. Should we be able to scan you, right? Because you're a new type. Hey, here we go. Here's the padlock. How you doing, padlock May? Stupid Star Wars servants. Okay, go. So I'm gonna say this. Besides ammo. Need some healing. Another door with another key needed. So, two different ship type keys, and an elevator? An elevator! Okay, that'll work. Uh, lower cabins or bridge? Bridge. I think we're already at the lower cabins. Wow, that was a quick elevator. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. I did not do that. Someone already busted that lock. Someone or something. Shotgun ammo. If I had the shotgun, that would be nice. I need some healing. Speak, it, speak of the devil! There's gotta be some human defense I'm at the here. bridge. Really? I was expecting some... Ah. There's their defense mechanism. They busted everything up. Doesn't look like I can use this for communications. Yeah, I think they busted up the comms. Ooh, hang on ammo case. Nice. Let's max some ammo. Yeah, communication system is down. That's one way to put it. We can't change our course. We're completely adrift. This is recent. The perpetrator can't be far. Okay. You were saying? And there it goes, our boat. Don't tell me that was the tugboat. Shit, we'll be stuck here. No, we are a uh, mother. Boat. Oh, Troy. Thank Jesus, Jill. Remind me never to screw with you. Drop yours, Parker. Who the hell are you? Soon, Veltro. Am I supposed to know who that is? Who the hell are you? Still don't know who the hell that is. Was. The different episodes of Resident Evil Revelations release Ghosts of Veltro. Interesting. Were different episodes of Resident Evil Revelation released in like, kind of like Life is Strange 2 was released? In the previous Life is Strange games up to the newest one, which was True Colors? I don't know why they would do that like that. One year ago, here again. It's a floating city while Bo was attacking it. Hey, Parker. Still hurting, Cadet? No. I can still fight. That's the spirit. It's over. The city is finished. I mean, there's not much you can do against bioweapons. Hey, we're playing as Parker, and we have 
I'm Your pretty sure I know. Are commendable. This is one wake up call which was long overdue. My word. Fuck is that? Jessica, Parker, come in. The facility has been breached. We're closing shop. Prepare to go home. Split up and get to the helipad on the roof. That's an order. Gotcha. I do the not trust kitchen. you. Cadet, make sure they reach the heliport. Fine. Parker, they've started evacuation procedures here. O'Brien? You think this is it? Ooh. Not if we shoot all them sons of bitches first. Shit. Yeah, those are, um... I can't remember what a insult I used to use to call them. Uh... Come. Open fire. I... It's these fucking toad-looking motherfuckers. I forgot about these. What, did we have only one P90? <laughs> Why the hell are you using a pistol? Oi! Against these things of all creatures. Should it? I doubt that. I don't think an elevator should still be operational amidst all of this. Wait, are we just abandoning all the civilians to the bioweapons? Okay, I can see why the FBC might be disliked. What? We're just gonna abandon- we're supposed to be the soldiers! Are we not? Shouldn't we, like, try and save the civilians? Oh, uh, here they come. Kind of walls too. Yeah, you didn't know that? Arr! Yeah, they climb. Didn't you know that, Parker? Sorry to drag you into this. That's fine, but you're buying me dinner next time. Lobster. Good for you. Doom! What the? I expected that. Broke already? No, they probably had something to do with it. How do you feel about stairs? I Actually, feel like it will be Thigh Master 9000. Sure how I feel about stairs. Considering you're in heels? Yeah, good luck to you. If you fall, I'm not saving you. Why the hell would you be wearing heels of all things? Ah, uh, mother! Dispatch Jessica. The Federal Bi Bioterrorism uh, Commission was founded by the U.S. government to enforce the agency to the guidelines set forth the National Species Protection Act. Their document outlines FBC's charter and responsibilities of its members. BC is charged with protecting the U.S. and her interests from biological threats. The organization will work with other countries, their respective wildlife protection organ uh, organizations, to guard public health. As such, we are tasked with enduring, ensuring the biological safety of the public at large. Duties of all FBC members include the research, training, and support of the biological community. Uh, politics will be formed formated on a need-only basis uh, with any additional budget expenditures and extraordinary activities being approved by a plenary session of the Wildlife Protection Commu Committee. On the FBC chair, is the FBC chair is selected by WPC. A the chair's duties include the complete oversight of the FBC and the coordination of all activities with their respective U.S. cabinet officials. The FBC chair is the final overseer of the National Animal, animal Protection Community. God, you couldn't have abbreviated these, could you? All members of the NAPC are entitled to request help from their chair, including the uh, secret secretaries of state and defense. The director of national intelligence, however, the chair has final authority on all matters of national biological safety. Interesting. So the the FBC is kind of like what the umbrellas 
Merc's Merc team was before Umbrella got disbanded, which I'm still doubtful Umbrella ever actually got disbanded. I'm pretty sure they're just hiding. Oy. So, what do you think about that O'Brien guy? I don't the trust FAA him. Director? Not my type. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I think he's in the right. He needs to stand up to General Morgan. Yeah, I agree. I you think say, yeah. being in the FBC distorts your moral compass. You sound just like him. Still, I wouldn't mind being on the right side of the fight. Yeah, it would be kind of nice. Ah. Would be kind of nice, though, to be fair, still don't trust him considering the fact that Umbrella is most certainly still around. I'm going to keep saying that because I know it's going to come up. The umbrella is, in fact, still alive and breathing. Are you kidding me? A dead end? Don't say the word dead. That's a very bad idea. Just use the word end. What are you looking at? You know what? If you're just gonna do that, then I'm just gonna leave you behind. Get through here. Give me a hand. Okay, I'm coming. Finally. Up behind God. you. Jessica, hurry. Yeah, that's not gonna hold. Trust me. Assistant little bastards. The little. That's one way to describe those ahead. damn things. That's what I said. Oi. I think they're here for you. I don't think they eat people. I mean, they probably will, but I don't think they normally do. Hey, there we go. Finally. Go. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just a little shrapnel. Die! Come on. Jesus, I thought it was gonna stop again. Yeah, we're fine. But that was crazy. I can't believe Morgan decided to fry the city with the solar energy satellite. Raccoon City all over again. Yes. Yeah. Wiped off the face of the earth. By tomorrow morning. Terra Grigia will be just a name in a history book. Yeah, the thing is though, when the bioweapons get dug in so badly that you can that you can barely stand for five seconds without having one we attack did do you. Everything we could, right? I hope we did. So yeah, when they're dug in that just badly. About that lobster dinner you owe me. For now. <laughs> when have I ever gone back on my word? Probably a lot. But like when the bioweapons are that well dug in. There's not much you can do. These things are hard to kill and keep down as well as eradicate. We gotta go. It's hard okay. to know. First. <laughs> it's hard to keep them down, you know. Did they just leave us? Oh no, we're on. One. Shouldn't you guys be like strapped in just in case you fall out? Hey, is that a... Oh, yep. So is this the response out to Raccoon City? everything the city's so bright yeah you probably should look away but imagine that's good for your retinas damn
Terra Grigis. No more. We came to help, but did nothing. Damn. That would kind of be heart wrenching. Your entire job was to save the city and you weren't able to do that, though. The bioweapons aren't terribly dangerous. Like, Leon, Claire, Jill, they all survived. An entire. Yeah. Leon, Claire, Jill, uh, Carlos, they all survived a huge, like, city worth of bioweapons while also being hunted by tyrants. Like, remember that. The whole time they were being hunted by a tyrant while trying to survive bioweapons. They're not that hard to deal with. The problem is just making sure you get rid of all of them, especially when you're dealing with the zombies. It can be kind of tough to ensure you get everything. 9 p.m. bridge. Raymond. That's you, isn't it? FBC, right? The BSAA. A little too late. What is the FBC doing here? <laughs> answer me, Raymond. I don't have to answer anything. I don't think he's with the FBC. You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. We've got to... Give it a rest. I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Raymond, stop right there. Nothing will change. Unless you get your hands dirty. Fair enough. So the FBC aren't necessarily bad guys, but I have a feeling so the they're FBC bad guys. Is on this ship too. Apparently What's so. What's going on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. Not that I relish the idea. Yeah. Not all that fun. Interesting. So the FBC aren't necessarily bad guys, I guess. They're just... Maybe incompetent, not very good at their job. At least what they're supposed to do. This ship is rather lush. Kinda like Jill. I, I couldn't help myself. I said it and then I thought... Night night. I said it, and then the thought hit me of saying the secondary joke, and I was like, eh, I shouldn't. That, that's that's low-hanging fruit, even for me. But I just couldn't help myself. It was too easy. I need to key. Oh, there's the home key. Freaking finally. Card reader, again. For all staff and crew, the Queensway Boya is a pleasure cruise liner. That provides world-class service without, with the comfort of a luxury hotel for our passengers. The ship offers no, numerous services and facilities for our guests. As a representative for this ship, it is your job to be familiar with all the facilities that can be found here. Following list outlining some of the major facilities on the ship, please read each one carefully. Also, I'm starting to think that maybe this ship was a umbrella test. Because Tr Umbrella had two freaking mansions for research and development of bioweapons. So they very likely could have done this one as a test to test something out. Which is possibly where the other creatures came from. Uh, Promenade Hall. Uh, boasting an area of 1500 meters to the power of two. So 3000 meters. Um, the ship's... Armored Hall has three floors and is more spacious than any other ship in the world. The interior is done in a gothic style and the ceiling covered with chandeliers. Its beauty and style rivals that of the first opera houses. Casino, the ship's casino has been owned next to Prime Hall. Kinds of gaming pleasures await our guests, including card games, slot machines, everything. Guess would expect to find in, from a casino can be found here 24 hours a day. Restaurants and shops, prominent hall has designer goods and brand name stores from all over the world. Guests can relax at our mini restaurants and bars. There are also shops that cater to our guests' everyday needs. Emergency communication room, 
There's an emergency communication room next to the primary hall that can be used for a safety point during an emergency crew. You can also be used this room to transmit a distress call should the need arise. I think that is what we're looking for. I think I know where we're heading. Oh god, please help me. This can't be happening. Don't leave me to die in this hall. I'm trapped here. There's... There are monsters here. Real ones. Everyone's dead or dying. There are no survivors. Shit. We're all gonna die. <laughs> That's an understatement. These things are kind of dangerous to anyone who doesn't have a weapon. As I've realized. Not easy to fight. Hello, hello. I'll bring this here, your we map. should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. Hey, I need that. I'm gonna skim through certain things. There's a lot of extra extraneous stuff around here because it's a cruise ship. There's gonna be. Ooh, these were destined to be junked in the late 80s when air travel became more popular. Purchased by the Paragus Line and her stream turbines were replaced with an electric diesel propulsion system. Her hold and cabin areas were expanded and she was upgraded with the latest technology. Queen Zamboya was reborn as a fully functional luxury liner. After its restoration, the Queen Zamboya set out on a cruise around the world, follow, followed by one, one around South Africa and many, many others. In the future, she will find her main harbor in the Mediterranean for her cruises around Africa. Queen Zamboya will, be, will bring pleasure to passengers years to come. How much you want to bet? Who was it? Paragus line. How much you want to bet Umbrella has some connection to them? And Umbrella wanted an opportunity to test out bioweapons while making it look like... You know what? I bet that's it. I bet Veltro is dead, but this is Umbrella using Veltro to hide the fact that they themselves are not dead. Uh, well, I did not need to see that. I bet you, you go money. To the emergency communication room. Maybe try to contact HQ. Yeah, that's a plan. I bet you money that is what is going on here. So I'm working. What? Huh. That's a problem. I bet you money that's what's happening. Veltro is in Veltro. Veltro is still dead. Did we have to use our flashlight before? Alright. We got to find Rim. Seriously. How do you know him? I used to work with him. Let's leave it at that. FBC. So you two are screwing then. Um, <laughs> I like to do that when characters just don't want to elaborate. By the way, you get my point. I think Umbrella and Veltro are the same people. Here we go. Now I'm starting to feel a bit more at home. This is feeling a lot more like the original Resident Evil games I'm used to. No found in room 303. What the hell is going on? Monsters are crawling all over the ship. They're tearing it to pieces. I've never even seen monsters like this. The movements are stiff, stifled, but it's all over. Just the, it's all over. It. They just get a hold of you. The piece of shit monsters ate my friend Harrit. Hasn? Bastards. I use a gun to frighten them off. <laughs> Bullshit. I have shot these things in the face, and they don't get frightened. Uh, give me, uh, giving me time to get the hell out of there. Bull went straight through its arm, thank god. These monsters have bones like old women. There's nowhere left to run now, and damn monsters twisted my leg good. Hell, ran out of ammo too. God only knows how I'm gonna survive this. Yeah, I have a feeling you're probably dead. Yeah, I'm feeling much more at home now. This feels a lot more like the other Resident Evil games I played. You know, get, getting to a certain point, get, getting a hold of an item of some kind. He's not dead. Yeah, let's not bother with that. That's a waste of ammo. There's nothing in there. Yeah, but getting, 
getting far enough ahead to the point where you get a hold of some new item which allows you to then go back and gather up resources and stuff that you had to leave behind because you couldn't get to them. This feels a lot, a lot more at home for me. A lot more at home. There we go. Sorry, Crest. Shotgun. Thank you. Change weapons. We can change weapons. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Hi, what the fuck is that? I do not even want to find out. There we go, home key. Uh. Oh. See, playing all the Resident Evil games as much as I have has uh, resorted in some mix ups and controls. I thought. Well, I, like it's been in many other games. Was, um, I thought why was, uh, the, uh, oh, fuck, what am I trying to say? I thought why was the, um, heal button. Actually, kind of like that. That's a clever way to load the next area. Whoa. Okay, this is cool. Now this is what I call a cruise ship. <laughs> it's like an opera house in here. Yeah, that's what the so. paper said this emergency communication uh third level i think somewhere around here i'm gonna scout out the rest of the levels look for anything that could be of use these are actually a really clever way to load the next area without using a loading screen They said God of War was the first to do something like that. I can barely even notice it. Um. Is that a snake's head? I can't tell what the fuck that is. What is this place? I don't know. How about you look up? Oh shit, there was one right there. I need to look up apparently. Fuck. Just try not to walk under him too much. Whoa. I think this used to be the pool. Oh, it reminds me of the sewers from Raccoon City. Right, where they were cooking up and basically tossing all the zombies after they were done with them. Something covering the pool. Creepy. Something? I'm pretty sure it used to be someone. Well, that's besides the point. Bolted shut. Ooh, a new weapon. Nice. A clean report for next on duty. There are some hand there are some notes handwritten on the comments column. Report March twenty fifth. There are some kind of barnacles sticking to the bottom of the pool. Don't know where they came from. Please take care of them. March thirtieth. The barnacles are back again. Looks like they are all grouping together into a little colony. Um, maybe there are new spe there are a new species. Might be fun to keep some as a pet. A percent. Looks like the pipe that dis uh, distributes water was damaged. It was fixed, but there's a chance there are some contaminations in on this end. The guy in charge of security wasn't very happy. Maybe it has something to do with the new species of barnacle? April 12th. Yikes. There's no new species of barnacle, that's for sure. Port ends here. I'm guessing that's around the time the outbreak started. Uh, purify the pool. Sure. I'm waiting to hear the scream. It's usually a scream. Filtration's gonna take a while. Should've known. I'll come back later. Fair enough. What the fuck do you mean, Al? You mean Will? Come back later, both of us. You don't go anywhere unless I go with. Because I need someone to throw at the monsters. Casino. 
Anchor marks. That anchor key is going to be needed. Several custom anchorization kits. Can't wait to get another. Find another box. Uh, Handerman. Something like that. I don't know what that word is. I ain't fancy enough for that shit. What is that? Damn. One shot, one kill. There's monsters hiding behind every corner. We have yet to find one survivor. We may be hearing one. I'm not sure if he's human, though. He's speaking, which indicates some kind of intelligence remaining. This is the Queen Zenobia. I have a strong feeling that's locked for a reason. Oh, mother! You're telling me it has a fucking saw. That's a new one. Go. Nope, I'm cheap. It just ate me alive. Here we go. I had a feeling. Come on. On. Come on, please be the end. God, every time we kill one, another one spawns. This guy needs to die. I cannot keep this up. Yeah, finally. Good, I assumed he would. Put this fucker down. Mind you. Ooh, he's gonna have plenty of research. Good job. Hey, light bulb key. Gotcha. Communications officer's journal. Day one. I made the right decision coming up to the progenin. I've got food and beverages to last me a long time. I can still hear those things out there clawing at my door, on my door, and looking for prey. Too bad they ain't getting in here. I have no idea if anyone else is still alive, I, but I know I'm gonna make it through this, alright. They do shit. Those damn things got through the air ducts. But I put them all down before they could do any real damage. I've trained for this, and I'm trained hard. That's off to me. Uh, good thing I was up when it happened. No more deep sleeps for me. Day three. After years of surprise parties, I haven't been able to sleep a wink. Uh, after yesterday's surprise party, my nerds are fried. I wish I wasn't the only one here. Pretty tired today. Don't feel well. I better not get sick. Shouldn't move. You can serve energy. Just hang in there. Day f I think this is day four. I got a fever. Those monsters don't find me like this. I'm so out of it. Am I infected? Is it just a cold? There's a big lump on my head. It hurts. I wish I had someone to talk to. So alone. How many days is it? I found someone to talk to. So happy. He's very funny. He tells a lot of jokes. Lots. They're funny. I laugh and laugh. His face is too close in my face. He thinks so. He thinks so too. No room to move. Had a fight. He wanted all the foods. Uh, he, he was eating meat. Good. Tasty meat. I saw his face chewing, eating. No meats for me. Look, look tasty. His head looks tasty. Help. Can't move. Trapped. Me. Not me. Who is me? Help. Please help. Mayday? Oh, I see. So, uh, yeah. I'd assume he got infected. Not sure what gave that away. Better. 
Uh, note left in front of the emergency room communications room. There is... This is the emergency communications room. No one gets in without my permission. Comms officer. Not without my key. Come find me at the user's spot on the promenade deck. This method scroll underneath. This is crap. This ship is crawling with freaks and monsters. I'm going to proms. Uh, cause at least I can find food there. Anyone who's still alive can meet up with- meet me up there. You know where to find me. I'm gonna like this. Promise that. Yeah. We already found him. Thing is, I don't do that because I look stuff up beforehand. I do that, like, going and searching before moving towards whatever our actual goal is. Because I played, like, five other Resident Evil games. I know the tricks. I know how these things work. Typically, you're gonna need a key, you're gonna need an item. Don't know what that item is, don't know what that key is. But you're gonna need it. Freeman! Hello. How'd you get in here? Looks like we both were too late. What are you talking about? Both of you. Look. Thou wilt be thy removed. The desperate grief wrings my heart already. Little masked friend. Dare I speak of it? But if thy words be seed that may bear fruit of infamy to the traitor whom I know, speaking and weeping shalt thou see together. I know not who thou art, nor by what mode thou hast come down here. The world is in our hands. This is the tea of this virus, and we are equipped to infect one fifth of the Earth's waters. T virus. So it is the T virus. <laughs> He's turning guppies in a jaws. Shh. And even a child could guess what will happen next. We are Veltro. Vengeful messages from the depths of the Inferno. So this is our man. I knew it was Veltro. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Abandon hope? He's quoting Dante. Send a team to Valcoin and Mach Airport. Look for something linked to this ship, O'Brien. Yes, I read you. I'll send Quint and Keith. What? You two, get ready to move. Uh, I hate snow. <laughs> snow hates you. Just you both sound like you whiny bitches. Veltro. I still think it's Umbrella. I don't recognize that guy, so maybe not. I don't see a thing. I thought the Mediterranean was just like a big lake. Be patient. Finding a ship at sea is like finding a needle in a haystack. Yeah. No kidding. But that still doesn't also solve our problem. Also considering. Hey, are you even listening? We'll find you, Jill. And again with the fucking heels. This is a rescue op. What the fuck are you wearing heels for? Hey, there we go. Episode 3, Ghosts of Veltro. Yeah, I still think Umbrella has something to do with it. Not sure if Wesker's dealt with it at this point, though. But then again, remember, we're playing Resident Evil Revelations, and then we'll be playing Resident Evil 5. So, I don't know when in the Timeline 5 happens, but the guy I'm following for play order tells me that Resident Evil Revelations, the first part, should be played before 5. Either way. <sighs> okay. And finally end off the episode. I think we have... Hey, defeat 150. Oh, that's why I have them. Still don't get the recaps. Episode 4, A Nightmare Revisited. Oh, uh... I'm pretty sure there's only four episodes. Seriously? 
I have not been... There's supposed to be eight hours of content. Maybe it just counts... Like, counts together all. Because I think I have been playing for about four hours. No, like only three. But then again, I tend to move kind of quickly and I know what I'm doing. Huh. Next episode may be the end of this game. p.m. these bastards already it looks like you missed a few and they're on this ship and now they want to use the virus to stage another attack they seek the truth about terra grigia and vengeance interesting i have a feeling he's probably working with them Jim, curious look at this the whole ship's out of power Oh, fun. The ship's running on emergency power, but the comm system needs the main power. We need to bring the engine room back online, but that won't be easy. I feel like the emergency communication room would run on backup power. <laughs> I feel like the emergency communications room is meant to be used in an emergency, in which case there may not be mains power. Why would it run on the mains? It doesn't use that much energy. As well, it's kind of busted, so it's not like we can use it in the first place. Okay. I'm going to end this episode of Resident Evil Revelations off here. Next episode may actually be the end, which is strange. I mean, based off the fact that this game was eight hours long, which told me that it was probably going to be one of the shortest series in all of my uh, Resident Evil playthrough history... I still expected, I don't know, I didn't expect this few episodes, though the eight hours may just be the two different games combined. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to end this episode off here. This has been a whole lot of fun. I'm loving this game. This is, this is fun. This is fun. The initial bit of the game was very different from what I'm used to, but yeah, it settled into a lot more like the original Resident Evil games, which I like. With bits of, like, Resident Evil 4 tossed in there. You know? It's fun. I like it. Right now, if you enjoy, think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And that, be good, be well, and I'll see all of you in the next. Goodbye.